Part 1 In the Hospital Waiting Room Hi, I'm Sophia. Hello, I'm Mr. Thompson. Sophia is sitting in the waiting room of a doctor's office. This waiting room is quite comfortable, isn't it? Oh, yes. They've done a nice job with it. Been coming here for years, and it's always been welcoming. I'm Sophia, by the way. It's my first time here. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Mr. Thompson. You'll like Dr. Martin. He's excellent. I've heard good things about him. Just moved to the area and needed to find a new doctor. You've made a good choice. Where did you move from? From Boston. Quite a change coming to a smaller town. Oh, Boston. I visited a couple of times. Lovely city, but quite busy. You'll find things a bit slower here. That's what I'm looking forward to. A slower pace, more nature. That's the charm of this place. I moved here with my wife 30 years ago. Never regretted it. It sounds wonderful. I'm hoping to explore the area more once I'm settled. There's plenty to see. Make sure to visit the local parks. Great trails. I will thank you. I love hiking and outdoor activities. Then you're in the right place. This town has a lot to offer. The nurse calls Sophia's name. Miss Sophia Turner, please come to the reception desk. That's me. Nice talking to you, Mr. Thompson. Likewise, Sophia. Take care and enjoy the town. Part 2 Checking in with the receptionist Sophia approaches the reception desk. Hi. I have an appointment with Dr. Martin at 10.30. I'm Sophia Turner. Good morning, Miss Turner. Welcome to our clinic. Let me pull up your appointment. Ah, here we are. Thank you. It's my first time here, so I might need some guidance. Of course. First, I'll need you to fill out some patient forms. It's just standard procedure for new patients. Taking the forms. No problem. Should I return them here once I'm done? Yes, please. And do you have your insurance card and ID with you? Checking her bag. Yes, I have them right here. Great. I'll need to make copies of those. And while you're filling out the forms, could you also provide a list of any medications you're currently taking? Sure, I can do that. Starts filling out forms. Also, since you're new to the area, you might want to subscribe to our monthly newsletter. It has health tips and updates about the clinic. That sounds useful. Especially since I'm still getting to know the local healthcare system. Wonderful. I'll add your email to our list. And don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions about the forms. I will thank you. Filling out forms. By the way, are there any specific health issues in this area I should be aware of? Well, we do have a fair number of allergy cases due to the local flora. If you start experiencing any symptoms 
Dr. Martin can help with that. Good to know. I've never had allergies. But I'll keep that in mind. Handing back her ID and insurance card. Here are your cards back. And once you're done, you can take a seat. And we'll call you when Dr. Martin is ready. Returning the completed forms. Here are the forms and my medication list. Perfect. I'll put these in your file. Dr. Martin will see you shortly. Thanks for your help. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's our pleasure, Miss Turner. We hope you have a pleasant visit. Sophia returns to her seat in the waiting area. Part 3 Nurse's Preliminary Checkup Nurse Williams calls Sophia for her preliminary checkup. Sophia Turner? Yes, that's me. Hi, Sophia. I'm Nurse Williams. I'll be doing your preliminary checkup before you see Dr. Martin. Please come this way. Sure, thank you. They walk to the checkup room. Let's start with your blood pressure measurement. Sure, sounds good. He takes Sophia's blood pressure. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Just a regular checkup. Great. Your blood pressure looks normal. Have you had any recent health concerns or changes in your medical history? Nothing major. Just the usual stress from moving and adjusting to a new place. Moving can definitely take a toll on your health. Make sure to take some time for yourself. Now, I'll check your temperature. He checks Sophia's temperature. I've been trying to stay active and eat healthy. That's good to hear. Regular exercise and a balanced diet can make a big difference. Your temperature is also normal. That's a relief. He makes notes. Do you have any allergies we should be aware of? No known allergies. All right. I'll also need to take a small blood sample for routine tests. Is that okay with you? Yes, that's fine. He efficiently draws a blood sample. There we go, all done. You were a great patient. Do you have any questions before I take you back to the waiting room? No questions. Thank you for making this so easy. You're welcome. Dr. Martin will see you shortly. Just relax in the waiting room until then. Will do. Thanks again. Sophia heads back to the waiting room. Part 4 Consultation with the doctor Sophia is called into Dr. Martin's office. Hello, Sophia. I'm Dr. Martin. It's nice to meet you. Please, have a seat. Thank you, Dr. Martin. It's nice to meet you, too. Looking at Sophia's chart. I see you're new to our clinic. How are you settling in the area? I'm settling in well, thank you. It's quite a change, but I'm enjoying it. Good to hear. Now, let's talk about your health. I've looked at your preliminary checkup results, and everything seems normal. 
any specific concerns or reasons for your visit today. Mainly, I wanted to establish care with a new doctor after my move. But I've also been experiencing some mild headaches recently. Headaches can be common, especially during periods of stress or change. Have you noticed any specific triggers or patterns? Mostly when I'm at work or after a long day. I thought it might be stress related. That's possible. How about your sleep patterns and water intake? Those can also impact headaches. My sleep has been a bit irregular since the move, and I probably don't drink enough water. It's important to maintain a regular sleep schedule and stay hydrated. I recommend monitoring your headache patterns and triggers for the next few weeks. If they persist, we can investigate further. I understand. I'll definitely keep track of them. Great. And since you're new to the area, I'd also recommend getting a full blood panel done. It's a good baseline for your health. Now, let's also briefly talk about your headaches and possible treatment approaches. That sounds like a good idea. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on the treatment options. Excellent. Let's move on to discussing some strategies to manage your headaches. This will help us determine the best course of action for you. I appreciate that, Dr. Martin. I've been a bit concerned about them. Part 5. Discussing Treatment Options. Continuing their consultation. Given your recent headaches, let's discuss some treatment options. First, I recommend starting with lifestyle adjustments. That makes sense. What kind of adjustments are we talking about? Primarily, focusing on stress management, ensuring adequate hydration, and maintaining a regular sleep schedule. Also, Mindful activities like yoga or meditation could be beneficial. I've been meaning to get into yoga. It might be the perfect time to start. Yoga is an excellent way to reduce stress and improve overall well-being. Additionally, I would suggest keeping a headache diary to record when they occur, and any potential triggers. A headache diary sounds like a useful tool. I'll start that right away. If the headaches continue or worsen, we can consider other options, such as over-the-counter pain relief or prescription medication. But... Let's try these initial steps first. I prefer to avoid medication if possible. So I'm happy to try these methods first. That's a good approach. Remember, if there's no improvement, or if things get worse, we should reassess. Now, regarding your general health, Getting regular exercise and eating a balanced diet will also contribute to your overall wellness. I understand. I'll make sure to integrate more physical activity into my routine and watch my diet more closely. Excellent. And don't forget, regular checkups are important especially when adjusting to a new environment. We want to ensure 
your health is on the right track. I'll keep that in mind. How often should I schedule checkups? For now, let's plan for a follow-up in three months to see how you're doing. Unless any urgent issues arise before then. Sounds good. I'll schedule the follow-up at the front desk. Perfect. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss today? No, I think we covered everything. Thank you for your help and advice, Dr. Martin. You're very welcome, Sophia. Take care, and I look forward to seeing how you progress. Thank you, Dr. Martin. I feel more confident about managing my health now. Sophia leaves the office feeling empowered and informed about her health care plan. Part 6. Scheduling Follow-Up Appointments Sophia approaches the reception desk. Hi again. Dr. Martin suggested I schedule a follow-up appointment and some routine tests. Sure, Sophia. Let's see what we have available. How does three months from now sound for a follow-up? That works for me. What dates are available? Checking the calendar. We have some openings on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Would either of those work for you? A Tuesday morning would be perfect. Great. I'll schedule you for the first Tuesday morning three months from today. And for the blood tests, our lab is available on weekdays. You can walk in any time. That's convenient. I'll probably come in next week for the tests. Do I need to fast before the blood test? Yes. It's best to fast for eight hours prior to your test. You can drink water, but avoid any food or other drinks. Got it. And will Dr. Martin contact me with the test results? Yes, he'll review your results and discuss them with you at your follow-up appointment. If there's anything urgent, he'll contact you sooner. That sounds good. Thank you for your help with this. Of course, we're here to assist you. Is there anything else you need to schedule or any other questions? That's all for now. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. If anything comes up, feel free to give us a call. Have a great day, Sophia. Thank you. You too. Sophia leaves the reception area feeling organized and well informed about her next steps. Part 7. At the pharmacy. Sophia approaches the pharmacy counter. Hi, I have a prescription from Dr. Martin. Good afternoon. Let me take a look at that for you. The pharmacist reviews the prescription. All right. It looks like Dr. Martin has prescribed you a medication for headaches. This is a standard treatment. Let me get it ready for you. It will just take a few minutes. Thank you. Can you tell me how I should take it? Of course. You should take this medication as needed for headaches, not more than the prescribed dose. It's best to take it with food to avoid any stomach upset. I see. Are there any side effects I should be aware of? Common side effects include drowsiness and dizziness. So, 
I'd recommend not driving or operating heavy machinery after taking it. If you experience any severe reactions, contact your doctor immediately. Got it. I'll be careful with that. Handing the medication to Sophia. Here's your medication. Also, make sure to keep hydrated and try to identify any headache triggers, as Dr. Martin suggested. I will. Thank you for the advice. You're welcome. Do you have any other questions or need anything else? No, that's everything for now. Great. If you have any questions later on or need a refill, just let us know. Take care. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Sophia leaves the pharmacy feeling informed and confident about her medication and its usage. You're watching the channel Pattern English. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video. Pattern English.